once again, the narrative is plain to see before... I mean, these stories could wreck themselves. It's so predictable now. Another mass shooting in Midland, Odessa this weekend. Guy gets fired from his job. Texas State Trooper pulls him over. He opens fire. Starts a shooting spree that spans the two cities. Kills five or six. Wounds another 20. The guy was a two-time felon. Should not have been in possession of that weapon at all. I said, well, he purchased it legally. Not if he purchased it recently, he didn't. The only way he could have purchased it recent, or legally is if he purchased it prior to becoming a felon. But the possession of it was still illegal after he became a felon. So, no matter what, he was in violation of state and federal law already. Just by possessing it. Due to prior behavior. Now, the same time period, there was gun violence in a democratic stronghold utopia called Chicago, Illinois, where 35 people were shot, seven of them fatally. Is that on the national news? No, no it's not. Why is that? Because they don't fit the narrative. Unless the shooting happens in a conservative, more gun-friendly area, we're just not going to talk about it because it doesn't fit our agenda. What's the agenda? Disarming Americans. Well, why would you say that? Well, hey, look what's happened in Colorado. I came from Colorado. I know very good and well what happened in Colorado. We had the Aurora Theater shooting, right? The night, the night Batman movie was released there in Aurora. The guy comes in there with an AR-15, sprays bullets all over the theater, kills a bunch of people. Knee-jerk reactions all over the place. Colorado goes, oh my gosh, we better limit magazine capacities. We better better make everything a little harder for uh, everybody to get because, by God, it's the guns. So fast forward now, look at Colorado. They've got red flag laws in, in place where uh, your ex-wife can get mad at you and call you in as a uh, danger to society and they'll come take your guns. And then you got to prove your innocence and prove your mental capacity is okay and you're not psycho to get them back. So there goes that whole innocent until proven guilty thing. Well, now we got that done in Colorado. And we got a, uh, a good strong foothold for the uh, gun control utopia to move on in there to Colorado. So let's move on to another state that's, you know gun friendly. What a better better target than Texas. Yeah. You might think I'm nuts or maybe a conspiracy theorist or whatever you want, but I predict there's more shootings like this going to be going on here in Texas before the elections. Because we've already got the, the process. We've got a few Texas legislators now calling for red flag laws to be considered. And thankfully our governor is still saying, you know, it's it's not the way to go. We don't need to take guns away from good people. But how long can that political pressure be put on somebody before they cave is a good question. And I've seen it happen to a lot of people that I thought would never cave. They cave. So, strap up, be ready. It's it's stupid. But that's that's the whole goal. It's not a gun issue. It's a, it's a control issue. And they can't control us as long as we've got our guns. And I know as far as I'm concerned, it'll be out of my cold, dead hands. I'm not giving up my guns. I haven't done anything to deserve needing to give up my guns, nor will I. And, you know, it's just, there was a guy in Austin turned in his AK-47 this weekend because, oh my gosh, it's the right thing to do. Well, unless you're going to be the one perpetrating the next mass shooting in Austin, Texas, sir, you're an idiot because that's like castrating yourself because there's a rape epidemic somewhere. Unless you're going to be perpetrating that rape, castrating yourself or whatever, that's not going to solve a dang thing. So turning in your gun is not going to solve a dang thing. Unless you're the psycho that's wanting to take out other people. So, you know, these feel-good knee-jerk reactions that these politicians and these other idiots are doing to uh, pacify the public, you know, we make people more safe. No, 
there's people I seen I seen a report there on uh, Academy Sports there in Odessa today. The lines are just crazy with people buying guns, and that's the right answer. Because when more good people are armed, more good people are willing to take their own defense into their own hands. Let's face it, the bad guy gets off less shots. It's it's a simple math equation if you really want to boil it down to it. It doesn't take Einstein to figure out that if there's good guys shooting back at that bad guy, he's going to cease and desist, or they're going to hit him and kill him. They're not going to have to cower in a corner. Now, I'm not saying to go take on the bad guys unless you've got extensive training and you know what you're doing. My advice would be to seek shelter to preserve as much life as possible. However, if the situation does occur and you have sufficient training that you feel comfortable enough defending yourself rather than evading, you should do so. Because it's only until that starts happening, we're going to keep seeing that. You know, and, and you see this 17-month-old little girl got life flighted to Lubbock. Ticks you off, burns you up, makes you mad. You know, that little girl didn't do nothing to deserve that. And while the media's all be crying that and how horrible that is, they forget to mention the three-year-old little girl that was shot in Chicago while she was playing with blocks in her living room. Or the seven-year-old boy that was killed eating cereal at his kitchen table. Saturday morning. That stuff don't make news because, well, it doesn't fit the narrative. And it's disgusting. The, the, the media is so disgusting how they're one-sided. Just, I mean, like I said, you, these stories can write themselves. It's, it's mind-blowing. And the sheeple, they're falling for it. Don't be a sheeple. Don't be a sheeple. Think for yourself. Think outside the box. Wonder why the news is the news. Why is this story making headlines and another story is not? You know, it's it's uh, you got to think for yourself because if you just eat what they feed you, you end up brain dead like most other people are. And you don't want to be brain dead. Come on, think for yourself. You're an American. Stand up for yourself. Protect yourself. Defend yourself. Defend your family. Love your neighbor. I don't know, guys. <laughs> We're going to lose the battle if we don't pull our heads out of our butts. And the battle for the mind is, is, is a great battle. And I'm telling you, the left, they sure, uh, they've got the media all in their pocket. So, you know what, if you, if you agree with this, share it, like it, pass it on, because we've got to be, we got to be paying attention. We've got to be smart about this. And if you're going to be carrying a gun and you're going to do it, do it right, you know, pay attention, look professional, act professional. Don't be an Elmer Fudd out there with your dirty, dirty, you know. Come on. That's like that guy that was carrying that AR-15 there in Missouri right after the uh, El Paso shooting. Yeah, perfectly legal. Also perfectly stupid, you know. No, he wasn't violating any laws, but he sure made us look really, really dumb as gun owners. And you can't do that. You gotta realize, just like when you're going hunting and you're, you're some some landowner gives you permission to hunt on their land, you shut the gates, you take care of the place, you don't trash it up, because your actions are what others judge gun owners by, what other people judge hunters by. So you wanna you wanna give that best image of us that you can, and and you can do that. I don't think there's anybody that I know that's a retard. And, and by retard, I don't mean mental retardation in the, in the truest, ex, you know, extra chromosome. I mean, an Elmer Fudd. Don't be a Fudd. Pull your head out of your butt. Take care of business. And don't let these leftist liberals take our country from us. And that's what's going to happen if we don't do something. So educate yourself. Don't listen to the narrative. Dig in and see what the real news is. See what you can do to make a difference. And be that better American person that I know you're capable of. Me, I'm going to dig dirt and take care of mine. Love y'all.